Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Canvas Apparel Janelle back with another video. Um, after I did my video yesterday on the uh on the camo letters and uh what else I posted yesterday? I can't even remember. That's crazy. But anyway, after I did that video yesterday, I got a question from um this person here. Karina Bam 5833. Um, she asked me, how do you get your logo on the worksheet? So I'm going to show you that right quick. And I may have a surprise for y'all. So stick around. <laughs> All right, we are in Hatch Embroidery Digitizer. And I'm going to show you how to get your label on the worksheet and like this so let me pull it up so i can show you all right this is the design worksheet in hatch um what she wanted to know is how do you get your logo right here okay she wanted to know how you get your logo in this corner right here and i'm going to go through that setup right quick and show how to put your logo on your design worksheets and this is really good for people who digitize and sell their design so people can know who what company digitized the design and stuff like that so um we're gonna go into hatch <clears throat> all right so the first thing you need to do is you want to come up here now first thing when you preview it you will not see uh, your logo, even though my logo is on the sheet. When I preview it in Hatch, you will not see it up here. The only way you can see it is when you make the PDF file, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to make that right quick. All right, so you wanna press print, and you wanna press, make sure your, uh, your printer selection is Wilcom PDF Printer 9. Cause we're not really trying to print anything we just want to make a pdf file okay all right so you want to hit properties then you want to go to manage profiles okay make sure you when you have a hover over it, it's gonna you know kind of turn blue so you want to click that part and this is going to open up for you right here all right your profile manager um you want to type your name, Canvas, Paro. I type my name right there. Just to name the profile, okay? This, that's all this is. It's just to name what profile settings that you're using in Hatch, all right? So I put my name there. I didn't change any of, any of this stuff right here. I just went to Layout, Watermark, Overlay, and Signatures, okay? Click that tab. All right, so you have this come up right here everybody can see that all right so for your watermark you can either put a text like your name the name of your business or you can upload an image okay so click on images and you press create new image or if you already have an image in there you can uh you know kind of edit the image or whatever so i don't want to do that so we're going to delete that I don't want to do that all right so images no okay see no so once you go to new you're gonna get uh, you're gonna get sent to this screen right here okay what you want to do is you want to scroll down come down when you see file name on the image watermarks you want to look for file name you're going to press browse and you're going to browse until you find like a jpeg or a pdf all right you open it you open it once you once it's in there what you want to do is you can preview it so you can see how it looks once you see how it looks and it looks good you're good to go. You're going to press save. Once you press save, I'm not going to press save because I already got it in there, but you press save. And once you press save, 
you hit this arrow to go back and then your watermark should show up or it should show up right here in this box over here so you click on it click on the box and then you can move your more your model your watermark around and you can resize it and stuff like that okay you can resize it i put it right here in this corner in this corner because i know that there's nothing there of importance so i put my watermark right here in this corner all right so once you do that you come up here and press save all right once you press save that's it we just exit out of it all right so the watermark is there press save just close that you know close that and now what you do is you press print you're going to press make sure it's on Wilcom pdf printer 9 press ok you either do medium quality or best quality I always do best quality you choose where you want to save your PDF. I'm going to pick the desktop. I'm going to save it there. And actions, when you save it, it's going to open the file for you. Okay, so when I press OK, it's going to open the PDF file that I've created with my logo right here in the corner, top left corner. All right, you can scroll down. And you can see everything that's going to be happening here all right so this is how you put your logo on your worksheet or you can put a name you don't have to you don't have a logo you can put your the name of your business over here in the corner if you want to do it that way all right now if she watches this video i hope you got it um that's how you get your logo on your worksheets now surprise for everybody else um this design right here is free for everybody. So the link is in the description. If you want to get this design, um, it's going to come in, I think, six different sizes. Uh, it's also going to come with the design worksheet. This is the design worksheet right here. And you can see everything. Five color changes five colors this is the color layout of uh, the color uh sequence okay <laughs> color sequence and this is how it's gonna stitch out all right it's gonna do the horns the egg and the middle egg the right egg then it's gonna do the outline then it's gonna do the nose and the little cheeks and stuff like that so everybody you can go down into the link in the in my description and you can download this design for free all right so this is you don't have to pay anything just leave a like subscribe to the channel share the video that's all you got to do also i already stitched it out so i already know it's stitched out perfect and let me show you that right quick let me make this a little bit bigger so you can see my face So we stitched this design out and it came out just like this, everybody. As you can see, I used the Mighty Hoop, my nine by uh my, my six by nine Mighty Hoop, uh nine by six. Um this is the Mighty Hoop I use. As you can see, I got a couple of Mighty Hoops up there. I got my uh 10 by 10, my 5 by 5, I got another 9 by 6 up there, and I have an 8 by nine mighty hoop right there so that's the hoops i use um so i'm gonna do another video on all of the mighty uh hoops and things that i use from uh that company okay so this is the design this is how it's gonna stitch out and this is got how it's gonna look when you stitch it out on your machine at home all right so Y'all go ahead, hit that link in the description. Totally free. That's my gift to y'all for uh, subscribing to the channel, hitting those likes, asking questions, uh, viewing, sharing, everything. So um, that's my gift to y'all. Um, my gifts are going to be sporadic. I might do it whenever. So 
I said I was going to try to do it on Fridays, but I'm going to change that up. I'm going to surprise y'all. It's just going to be out of the blue. I might give away an embroidery design, all right? So um, make sure you hit that up, thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, turn on your post notification bell. Every time I upload a new video, you get a notification, all right? So um, that's it. Get this, make you some uh, Easter shirts. It's like a bunny unicorn, I guess. <laughs> My daughter loves unicorns, so I'm going to put this on the shirt for her, and she's going to lose her mind, all right? So, um, also, if you have a mighty hoop, use a mighty hoop, all right? Other than that, I'm going to see y'all in the next video. I'm out of this thing. Peace out. Enjoy your free download on me. Out of here. <laughs>